What's up, everyone? I hope you all are having a wonderful and blessed day today. And if not, I hope it gets better. I would like to say thank you for stopping by the channel and checking out today's video. It means a lot to me and I truly do appreciate it. Now, if you're enjoying the content that you're seeing here and you don't mind continuing to help support not only me, but the channel as well, please feel free to hit that like and subscribe button that's currently sitting below the video. And because I am a 2K Next Maker, that's what that icon over there in the corner is, there's going to be many various kinds of Midnight Suns related things here on the channel. So I would recommend you hit the bell icon so you won't ever miss out on any of it. And with that being said, let's get into the video. So today, we are going to be talking about predictions for the four DLC characters that we will be getting in the future. Now, the season pass will come with four packs total introducing a new playable hero missions enemies and more now starting with the top left right i'm very positive this is morbius it has so it has a pair of four slash marks just like the ones on the top right but much smaller and it has a set of holes like on the bottom left but vastly different in terms of how they look and the spacing in between them the morbius was a member of the midnight suns in the comics right and i'm pretty sure a lot of people have him as their lottery pick because his popularity has risen please no one in my comics make a morbid joke I might, I might actually ban you if you do but i like morbius he's cool i'm a fan of him specifically from the 90 spider-man cartoon so i would like to see him here now on the bottom left we have three bullet holes and a long sword slash deadpool who is also on my list of people I'd, I would very much like to see. It's who I'm assuming this set belongs to. I would say Elsa Bloodstone, but there's a few things that are steering me away from her as a prediction here. People tend to forget that she doesn't use swords that often or pretty much at all. So I can't really see her being the reason for that single slash. In terms of the bullet holes, these for sure does look like it came from a handgun. They're not that big. Elsa does use handguns on a normal basis, but her main weapon is her shotgun. I would expect to see that over anything. And when a shotgun is in play, you would be expecting either a single big bullet hole that would come from a buckshot or a slug, or several small pellet sized holes or dents that would come from a bird shot. Yes, I know my guns. <laughs> One more thing that I wanted to point out, even though it could be nothing, is the slash. So on the lower part of it, right, I'm gonna zoom in for you. There's a small section of it that's brighter than the rest of it. I don't know why, but this stood out to me. As I took a closer look, the color was close to matching the color coming off of the smoking bullet holes, which kind of made me wonder if whether or not the weapon that made this slash was actually hot when it struck this poster. And I checked every other slash on this poster. Nothing else has this. Now, again, it could be nothing, but who knows, right? <laughs> now, over on the top right, which I assume is a werewolf by night. Don't nobody else got claw marks that big. They don't. No, not at all. You could argue man things since, you know, he does have the ability to turn his hands into claws or other various weapons if, he, if need be, but there would be something missing here. There's no signs of acid, slime, pieces of bark, plant tree, or whatever stuck on it. Nothing. So this is more than likely werewolf by night, and I'm cool with that. Moving over to the bottom left. This one is the most diverse right here. A blast of lightning that has clearly done some damage. Now, seeing as how we already have mutants on the team, plus this being lightning in, in general, everyone, well, I won't say everyone, a lot of people's brains have been jumping towards Storm, and for fair reason. Now, I've also seen some people say Thor, and I'm not saying that it's unlikely for him to be here, but unless they were intentionally trying to be vague about who this lightning belongs to, wouldn't you think that we would see something like a hammer imprint or an Asgardian symbol to signal that it's Thor? I'm just saying. I'm throwing Hellstrom in there for two reasons. One, he does have the power of elemental manipulation, and he's also a former Midnight Sun. So if I had to narrow this down, Storm would be my most likely pick. Hellstrom would be my Dark Horse pick. Thor is right in the middle. If it ends up being him, it is what it is. I don't really feel either way about it. But with that being said, that's going to bring us to the end of this video. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys' predictions are. If you think I'm wrong or if I'm right, let's start a dialogue. I hope that you've enjoyed the video. And if you did, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notifications bell so you can keep up to date with all of my Midnight Suns related content. And also to help me in the algorithm. And I will catch y'all in the moonlight. Peace. Trying to do a big, trying to live life Pull it to the club with the bottles on ice Be the back end by the end of the night I'm an 
Artista, socialite, trying to do a game, trying to live life, pull it to the club.